Many different kinds of patients visit the clinic of Dr. Now. Some stick to their motivation and successfully manage to fulfill the required goal, while others relapse back into their old lifestyle. James Bedard falls into the first category. Today, we're going to dive down into the journey of James Bedard to see how he managed to turn his life around. James Bedard's Background Story I have to eat the food. I just cannot stop. I just, I, I try everything in my power. 38-year-old James Bedard appeared on the 10th season of My 600 Pound Life. From the start of the episode, he showed a stern determination in changing his lifestyle and eating pattern and making his life better altogether. The audience saw him talking about his food addiction and how he managed to gain this much weight. In short, he ate all the time. Like the moment he gets up in the morning, he orders his breakfast without even freshening up or getting out of bed. Even after ordering a huge amount of food, he started to get anxious waiting for the delivery. In his defense, he couldn't stop thinking about food. After having a caloric, dense food, he immediately started thinking about lunch, and afterward, about snacks and dinner. This, according to him, was his biggest challenge. Due to all the weight, he had restricted mobility. Even the basic life chores were a piece of work for him. But James always tried his best to not let his weight get into the way of his hygiene, as he frequently bathed himself properly, despite the fact that he used to get out of breath and was extremely tired. A major thing that he struggled with was he didn't like his cooking, so this made him order the food from the eateries all day long. In all this ordeal, his brother, cousins, and friend stuck by him and helped him with nearly everything. His cousin Cheyenne specifically stuck by him throughout the whole journey. Should I take it out the box? Yeah, you can just set it in the middle. This looks nice. I love red velvet cake. Um, that's something I adore. My cousins, they bring me something that I like and eat with me personal struggles of James' life. James was majorly raised by a single mother, as his father wasn't around for him for most of his childhood. He described that the absence of a proper father figure made him binge on food. Actually, James was always a big guy, and according to him, the influence of Caribbean food on his diet worsened his situation. Bedard's weight crossed to 100 pounds at just the age of six. With a growing, unhealthy relationship with food and having no workout routine in his life, James's food craving went too far. At the time when he was eight, his weight almost went up to 300 pounds. It definitely didn't just stop right there, as in the next 10 years, he gained more than 200 pounds of additional weight. James was so focused on food all the time that during school, he used to befriend the lunch ladies so they could benefit him by providing him with something to eat besides the lunch hour. I'm always ready to eat. I just feel like the food has to be eaten. Food could be here, and I tell myself, stop, just put it down. His stomach was never empty, as James was always eating, from morning breakfast to school hours, till dinner at home. After graduating from high school, he got a job in security, and it facilitated him more, as now he had money to eat out. At age 23, James moved to Florida seeking a career in music. There, he met a girl named Pumpkin, who he immediately felt connected with. Later, they began dating and even started to live together. That is when Pumpkin decided that James and she needed to go on a diet. It was all too much for James, and he moved back to New York for a while. The amount of stuff that you could get is just crazy, so I just, I get excited. It's like the Super Bowl. This was because James didn't want to put the pressure on her to be his caretaker because of his weight issues. He did want to go back to Florida, but moved to New York to stay close to his family until he could change his lifestyle for the better. My family, everybody, my support system say I'm doing a great job. So that's been encouraging. Good. The first step to weight loss. Throughout the episode, we saw James talking about how he wants to get better with the support of his loved ones. He began prepping for his journey to Dr. Now in Houston, Texas. The journey was no doubt very difficult for him. Even walking some steps used to put a strain on his heart, but James didn't let any of it get in his way. He described that his body weight put a lot of stress on his legs, and the sheer excruciating pain was too much for him to bear, but he was still doing his best to make the best out of a bad situation. My nervousness about seeing him today is mostly for what it's going to take to get his help. My wobble leg. At Dr. Now's, when he got his weight checked for the first time, it was exactly 625 pounds, which was the range he expected it to be in. 
What brought you from me? Weight loss surgery, Dr. Now. I need to get this weight off of me. Okay. He then met with Dr. Now, who assessed how motivated he was to lose weight. You need to change your eating habit right away, because ultimately, weight loss surgery is going to be the only solution for your problem. He explained to the doctor that he understood he needed to change his habits to be able to do that. When Dr. Now asked him about the eating habits, he told him how he doesn't enjoy his own cooking and has to order the food that contributes to his weight gain, to which Dr. Now replied that they also deliver salads. He expressed that the reason behind all of this was his depression and that he's stuck in a constant depression loop. His weight depressed him, and in order to make himself feel better, he used to eat. But then again, after eating, he used to get more depressed. The doctor gave him the goal of losing 80 pounds in a period of two months. And if you follow that, you should very easily be able to lose at 80 pounds over the next two months. In two months. So, yeah. And explained to him that he can only direct him to a path, and there's no magic that can instantly fix him. If he continued his habits, that's not going to happen. If you're not able to do that, then there's not much we can do. Trials and Tribulations Dr. Nav, it's me and you. It's been like a life overhaul for the past couple of weeks for me. Although James Bedard was extremely motivated, he knew that he had to say goodbye to all of his favorite food items to achieve this difficult goal in a limited amount of time. He began following Dr. Now's instructions about portion control and exercise regimen. I'm doing everything different, you know, and I'm trying my best. And you know it's been tough because I had to give up a lot of what I like. Even though his body had difficulty going through with it, he was determined to get himself approved for the weight loss surgery. James's cousin, Cheyenne, helped him all through it. Three months passed just like that. You can do it. <sighs> and in the next contact, James informed us that his life took an unexpected turn a few weeks before, as his dad just one day suddenly died after his heart stopped. This took a great deal of a toll on James's mental health, and he neglected his diet as he had to give emotional support to his mother. Even though his father remained very estranged, it was still a shock for James to lose him all of a sudden. To grant more time for Dr. Now, James set up a video call with a doctor. He told Dr. Now about the recent tragedy that struck his life and explained that right now, his first priority is his family. Last month took an unexpected turn a couple weeks ago because my dad's son, and so that was a hard moment for me and my family. Dr. Now understood his circumstances and asked him to lose 75 pounds in a month. Another month passed, and when it came time for another video appointment, James again requested some more time. I've been working really, really hard, Dr. Now, and I'm 100% committed to completing your program. I'm just asking for time. This time, Dr. Now reminded him that his health cannot wait, and that at his size, any small issue can push his body past its limits. But then, uh, James, the issue is that your health cannot go by the wayside. He further said that James cannot use hard life as an excuse to not get healthy, and he needed to take this seriously. This time, too, he kept the same goal, to lose 75 pounds in a month. Before we go on to the last part of our list, we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's video, as well as if you have any other favorite shows that you'd like to see on our channel. Getting back on track. I'm excited to hear his response to my continued progress. After that month passed, James again went to Texas for his follow-up appointment with the doctor. This time, when he got up on the weight machine, he weighed 597.5 pounds, 47 pounds more than his intended weight loss, but he was still happy that he at least made progress. Dr. Now then said that the progress was still not enough, as he is still eating 4,000 to 5,000 calories a day. Time was of the essence for him, and he needed to make changes to his diet. To this, he replied that he had stopped eating out, stayed away from fried food using an air fryer, and started to eat vegetables. What changes you have made on your eating habit? Um, what I did was I stopped eating out, really. Stayed away from fried foods. His cousin backed up his claims by informing Dr. Now that he pushed him to eat at home and that he needed time because his pops passed away recently. The doctor said that he was going to set him up with a psychotherapist, Dr. Paradise, so that he will help him with his depression. There's still going to be the same consequences to unhealthy choices, but I set you up to talk to Dr. Paradise about what you're going through. He gave James the goal of 100 pounds in a matter of three months. Dr. Now expressed that he was happy to see James progressing, 
but he has been lacking the motivation to completely turn around his life for good. After some time, we saw how James worked on himself to reach the goal, and how his friends and family accompanied him in that. But sometimes, he got annoyed by the constant stares of people. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.